Hi guys, it's me from G-Dubs. So today we're gonna have a little go at this, which is basically fitting some new speakers um, for the front of the vehicle. So these will go in the cab. So it's got uh, the ones that go in the doors and then there's also some tweeters that go in the dash. Uh, I ordered this from the guys at Skipton Audio. I found them in the VWT5 forum on Facebook. It also comes with a few sheets of Dynamat. There's actually one, two, three, four of those, so that's really, really cool. You put that on the inside of the door and that, because the speakers are gonna be louder, it stops any reverberation or um, sort of panel noise on the on the doors. And then if we just do a little bit of an unboxing with these speakers. So what we have got is uh, two of these beautiful little tweeters. There's one there and one there. Now the guys that skipped an audio have assured me that these have got the actual right connections on them as well um, for just literally plug and play. Take the ones out, the dash out, um, and these just slot straight in. And then there are two of these lovely great big beasts along with collars. If I just unwrap these. So these are some nice clarion speakers again with the right connectors on for the VW. I thought uh, what we do before we fit all the speakers is actually to run a test track and then we can basically um, hear what it sounds like with the stock VW speakers and then we could do exactly the same with the same track, same volume, level 20 on my uh, Pioneer head unit and then we can basically just check out the difference. So I'm just going to start. The bigger we get launching is This is here, I need you bumping in the back again You turn me on and we just friend You got my back when the speaker hit me right back Yes, it's like that What we need to do firstly is remove this grill Now, one of the ways to do this is just to get yourself a screwdriver, a flat bladed screwdriver and it's got three pins on there Now, I've already worked this off um, but as you can see, there are these different pins there So if you just stick your screwdriver in work way around that just literally pops off and then you've got the speaker is literally just in here and so this speaker is held on with either two or three of these little t20 screws now they're really easy to take out the way i've done it i've just got a t20 bit on a on a flexi tool bit there and then i've just undone them like that be really careful if you're doing that, that this, this doesn't ping out of your hands and then smack your windscreen, because if that's under a lot of tension, you could potentially crack your windscreen. And then once those are out, it's just a case of pulling it out. And then if you look, I'll show you on the new speaker, there's, um, there's this little adjustment here, which just needs pinching on the end. So you can just pinch this on the end there, Okay, and then the old speaker should literally just lift out like that. So that's the old Blaupunk one. And then what we need to do is fit the new one. And so fitting is basically an exact reversal of removal. So that's all screwed in. The next thing is to refit the grill. So you just put that on. Like so. That's in nice and tight. And then the next thing is just to do the same on the other side, nice and easy. Don't break the cover, just prise it off nice and gently. So we're gonna take the door card off. First thing to do is pop off this handle. These just come off by pushing up. Mine's already got a couple of the clips broken, but just be careful with these because they can get broken easily. Uh, you can get them cheaply off of eBay if need be, but it's better not to break them if you can help it. Um, and then in here, there's two Phillips screws just to take this door handle off. So that's one. And that's two. Okay, take off your little um, Lego storm tree beds if you've got any of those. We'll put them somewhere safe. Now the next thing, there are four T20 screws. Now these are located here, here, here and here. So I'm just gonna quickly undo those.
again put those somewhere safe okay now the next thing to do is really to pull the door card off and up so the way we're going to do this is just pull the bottom now if you do it sort of side by side you'll feel all of the different mounts start to unclip um, now I've obviously got electric windows that I've retrofitted so I'm going to have to unclip clip these when you get to this bit you need to lift the door up um, and there we go so that comes off nice and handily the door cards off already one of the things you can do is unclip this pin there we go so that as you can see just clips off of there and then that should give me just enough that's given me just enough there look, to take that door card off and if I rest it up against the van you can see there I've got plenty of room to be working on the speakers. We've got this stuff with it, you can see what I've done is basically try to apply as much of it onto this visible skin as you can. I'm not 100% sure whether it's meant to go on there or actually inside here, um, but I just couldn't get in there with all the regulating and stuff, so I've stuck it on there. That will minimise any flex on here anyway, so it's going to do better than nothing. Um, so you can see all of that. I've knocked off the rivets that held the old speaker, and so I've got the new speaker here. And what I'm going to do is basically just bond that on there with some um, with some mastic, and then connect that in, and then refit the door card. I'm also available to ice cakes. Well, ice and cakes. Oh, are you recording this? Brilliant. And so what we're going to do is just level that up and then basically just get it on there, give it a good push, making sure not to push the cone. And then we're just going to put that on. And I'm basically going to hold this for as long as I can until my hand gives up so the speakers are now fitted a bit of a long day um, you can see the door cards are back on same on that side as well um, so it's time to do the test let's play the same track uh, volume 20 on my pioneer radio and we'll see if it's uh, any different and i'll give you a bit of feedback Okay, I'm back on it like this, I'm coming quick. My name is Rocky, baby, and I'm big and we get on to this. This is here, I hear you bumping in the back again. You turn me on and we... Okay. So definitely a lot more punchy. I don't know if you can tell through the speakers on my um, on my camera. Um, but definitely a lot punchier. There's a lot more bass to it. Um, I've also tested another couple of tracks before doing this bit. So there we go. Um, front door, cab speakers and the dash ones upgraded. Job done. Um, so hopefully you've enjoyed the video. Please do like, share, um, subscribe as well. We're trying to do a video every week um, until the job is done. Uh, you can also check out our website, which is www.gdubcampers.com. You can also find us on Facebook, on Twitter, on Instagram, um, and obviously on YouTube as well. It's probably where you're watching us right now. Um, so, yeah, massive thank you. Catch you soon.